Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace with one soul, the society, the environment, and the universe. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Allah invites everyone to the home of peace and guides whoever he will be to a straight path. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Our religion is a religion of peace. Our prophet is a prophet of peace. And our greeting is a praise of peace. Paradise is called the abode of peace. The greeting of the people of paradise is peace. And the angels, greetings for believers in paradise is peace. The Almighty Allah said, You who believe, enter wholeheartedly into peace and do not follow the Satan's footsteps. For he is your sworn enemy. And he said, they shall have the home of peace with the Lord. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Their greetings in paradise are peace. And it said, The angels will come in them, into them from every gate, saying, Peace be upon you. May Allah give all of us paradise. Peace be upon you. Because... You have remained steadfast. What an excellent reward is this home of yours. It is for this noble value that Allah called himself the grantor of peace. The Almighty also said, He is Allah. There is no God other than him, the controller, the holy one, grantor of peace. The Prophet ﷺ used to praise Allah saying, O oh Allah, you are peace and from you comes peace. Blessed are you, O honor of majesty and honor. A true Muslim is kind, loving and tolerable. He is tolerant with himself, his family, relatives, neighbors, friends and with all people. He is generous and loves good for all people, shares it and contributes to everything that achieves compassion and community solidarity. Our Prophet ﷺ has said, The believers loves others and is loved by others. No goodness in those who do not love others. The best of human. The best humans are those who are beneficial to people. The Prophet ﷺ also said, No one of you become a true believer until he likes for his brother what he likes for himself. The Prophet ﷺ also said, A Muslim, the one from whose tongue and hands, the Muslims are safe. A true Muslim does not cheat, betray, Make exploitation, practice monopoly, cause destruction, lie, or accuse others falsely. He loves his homeland, and he is keen to maintain its security and stability. A true believer also has a peace with the environment in which he lives. He realized that preserving the environment is a religious duty is a religious, humanitarian, and national duty. Everything that is beneficial to the lives of people and the interests of the homeland is a part of the purposes of religions. Similarly, everything that is harmful to the lives of people and interests of homeland is prohibited, and he should and should be removed. So everything <clears throat> that is harmful to the lives of people and the interests of homeland is prohibited and should be removed. 
Our Prophet وسلم, guided us to the importance of having peace with the environment. He showed us removing harms from the road is a part of faith. He showed us that removing harm from the road is a part of faith. He, peace be upon him, said, Faith has over 70 branches or over 60 branches, the uppermost of which is declaration that there is no God but Allah. And at least, and the least of which is the removal of harm objects from the road. The Prophet ﷺ also warned against polluting the environment in general and water in particular. He said, avoid two habits which provoke cursing. The companion said, what are those things which provoke cursing? He said, relieving oneself in the street or under the shades where people take shelter and trust. He, peace be upon him, also said, Beware. Beware of three things which provoke curses. Relieving oneself in watering places, in places of shade, and the middle of the street. This aims at preventing the contamination of water so that it wouldn't be a source of harm and transmission of deadly diseases. All praise is due to Allah the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that the concept of peace extends to cover the whole universe. A true Muslim does not harm animals, burn plants, or damage trees or fruit. He is positive, he's a positive person. He loves goodness and hates evil. He loves const construction and hates destruction. Our Prophet وسلم, established rules for this universal peace because he was mercy for all mankind. As the Almighty said, We sent you, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we sent you only at the mercy to the worlds. This drives us to carry goodness for all mankind. We all have to work together to preserve the environment for all humankind. To preserve the environment and universal peace in order to remove harm that may threaten everyone. We need to realize that abuse against the environment is a violation that extends much beyond those who do it and beyond their countries and regions. It goes to a wider extent that may affect the whole globe and humanity as a whole. We stress that preserving the environment is a religious, national, and humanitarian duty. How beautiful that one lives in peace with himself, with his family, relatives, neighbors, colleagues, friends, society, the environment, and the peace with the whole universe. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.